Hi, I'm Mike from Music Radio Creative. In this video, I'll show you how to make your screen flow tutorial sound absolutely awesome. No plugins required. This is going to take you through a simple audio chain that you can set up inside ScreenFlow after you finish recording your ScreenFlow tutorial on your Mac. And you don't need any, any plugins, as I say, or anything else. It just works really easily. So let's get straight into it. Uh, here's a quick demo thing that I recorded with my webcam there. I got my audio there on the webcam as well. Uh, so the first thing I'd usually do is use presets. This is a relatively uh, new feature in ScreenFlow and it's fantastic, it speeds up time. So presets are represented by this little box up here in the top right on either the video or the audio tab. So I've got a mic preset here that, boom, immediately chromas my green screen and gets me down there in the bottom right looking fantastic. So now there I am, just as you usually see me in a screen flow. What you're probably interested in is the audio, this tab right here. Lots of opportunity to add audio presets. And let me show you what my chain looks like. So first of all, I'm going to select the webcam, which is also the track that has my audio encoded, not the actual screen recording itself, but the webcam recording. And if I drop down audio filters, oh, you'll see there's nothing there yet. Audio filters, that's exactly what I use. And this is how I do it. So first of all, uh, you might have seen in a previous video, I did show you how to sync up stuff. Usually, yeah, there's my clap. There's the spike for my clap. But my clap happens there. Well, that's fixed by my preset. So again, little box icon here. Recall the mic preset. And boom, there are my presets. So you have seen me uh, talk about the AU sample delay. This is a plugin from Apple, so nothing third party. And typing in that number for me nicely syncs up. You'll see my clap there with my hands coming together. That's the first thing, uh, but you can watch the former video on that to find out exactly how that works. Next, I have a couple of other things that you'll see really enhances my sound. This is after the preset is added. Okay, this is gonna be very, very meta indeed, but I and then we'll do Command Z on the Mac and listen to how it sounds. This is gonna be very, very meta indeed, but I a lot quieter. And just for comparison, I'm actually going to export this now to my downloads folder and import the audio to Adobe Audition. So you can see a before and after of what exactly my audio looks like. So this is gonna be the audio before, and then I'll also export a version with the audio after the preset is added. Then I'll explain what I've added and how it makes things sound better. So my preset back in, export that as screen flow presets. There we go. So just as that's exporting, there it goes. Uh, I've added the Apple AU Dynamics processor and also the Apple AU Peak Limiter. These are all available to you because you're on a Mac you have to be on a Mac if you're using ScreenFlow in the plus symbol here. And obviously any plugin I've installed from Waves is also here. But if you just want to find the Apple ones, usually those will be the only ones on your system. If you haven't installed anything from a third party, uh, type in Apple uh, and then you'll look. You'll see Dynamics Processor is there. You can just click it and click Add. And also the Peak Limiter is there somewhere too. Uh, let's have a look. Where is it? Uh, somewhere in this list. You can just do Peak. Uh, or just peak like that. There it is, peak limiter. Add it again and do the setting. So what do you need to do? Well, on the peak limiter, you don't need to change anything. The attack light time should be zero. The release time should be zero. The pre-gain should be zero. All the limiter is doing is ensuring that after you've compressed and maybe maxed up your audio a bit, it does not peak above zero dB. Because obviously if it does, you're going to distort. It's not going to sound good on your videos. So that's all the peak limiter does. The real magic happens here with the Apple Dynamics processor inside ScreenFlow. Uh, and I've set it up like this for my particular microphone setup. You may wish to tweak this a little bit. This is why I'm going to show you the effect it has in Adobe Audition. And then we'll come back into ScreenFlow and I'll teach you exactly what each setting does. So you can kind of fine tweak it. You can start from my settings if you like and then fine tweak it for your own setup. So over to Adobe Audition and here we go. Let's drag in the ScreenFlow presets and the ScreenFlow original. Okay, there we go. So ScreenFlow original looks like that. As you can see, a big spike for the clap and then very quiet there uh, for, the, uh, for the speech. But then when I add my presets, look at how it's nicely compressed. It's not peaking over, really over minus 2 dB, I'd say there. And it's nice and chunky. So we got this. Let's play it back. Okay, this is going to be very, very meta indeed. But and then we're going to listen to the original audio, which is a lot quieter and less processed, more dynamics. 
Although, saying okay, that... This is going to be very, very messy. It's still nicely processed because I have a DBX286S, which helps me out there greatly. All right, back into ScreenFlow now. And here we are with ScreenFlow. So what is going on with the compressor here? Let's have a look. Uh, first of all, threshold, minus 30. That's the point, the loudness that it kicks in on your audio. So most of my audio is going to be compressed. Uh, then headroom, a little bit of headroom, uh, set at 6 there. The expansion ratio at 1. Now, most importantly, the expansion threshold is minus 100, so that's catching everything and expanding it out. Uh, then attack time is 0, so really, really fast for the compressor to kick in. Release time, 0 0.03. The main settings you're going to need to look at are the compression threshold, so how low do you go to actually kick in on that compressor. If your audio is a lot quieter, you want my want to make this minus 40. If your audio is recorded a lot louder than mine, you might want to set this at minus 20. And then the master gain is the kind of increase in gain you need after compressing. Because after compressing, if I put this at zero, it's going to be very quiet, that audio. You can hardly see it. So you are going to need to boost it up to a certain level. If I go too far, 30, you're going to see this, is, this waveform is getting too fat. The peak limiter is stopping it from going over 0 dB and distorting, but still it's not good. So 15, and yeah, we get a nice happy medium waveform there. We're not kind of deafening our listeners, but we're definitely uh, expanding out the audio and making it easy and intelligible for the end viewer to enjoy your whole tutorial. So that is how you set up the Dynamics processor, the peak limiter, and a bit of sample delay as well if your webcam audio is out of sync from your microphone audio. I hope that's given you an idea of what's possible inside ScreenFlow itself and enjoy making your ScreenFlow tutorial sound good. If you use uh, another uh, audio filter that I haven't mentioned in this video, by the way, be sure to mention it in the comments below this video. Oh.